Morning, y'all. Today is the 28th. It's Monday, October the 28th, 2024. I'm going to do a short video. I cleaned out a closet in there because I am having to do some work in it in the house and all these I had them in a box they still had the tags on them I had bought them in 2021 when I first bought this place and then so many things happened I never never used them I put them up in the closet aren't they adorable <laughs> I have been having that a long time And also that little ghost there. But these... What you doing, bub? Can go. <laughs> See if I can show my wreath over here. Move my camera up there. My phone, rather. But <laughs> okay. So now on to the garden tour. <laughs> what I've been doing up front here. Yeah, it leafed out real good since I trimmed it back a while back, if you remember. My other video, Dodge Doggy Poopy, I gotta come pick up. <laughs> yeah, I really like my little awnings. You can see down there the very first one, I've got my pole cemented in. And I'll eventually get material, like Sunbrella and make awnings and I'll have uh, the same kind of setup as that the posts and take all these two posts out and I have awnings down through here it makes it so nice on the porch okay now out here I've done a lot since I did my last video I finished getting in the water and into the house and the faucet for the outside. So now I got water so I can put my stuff in the ground out here. Because I hadn't been able to water the way I want to. Alright, and I took down my the cattle panels that I use. I put all three together and I put a tarp. I got a big silver tarp I put over it. And that's where I parked my um riding mower a little lawn tractor that's the last of the horse manure that was on my trailer that I had parked in the back field behind the big garden I cleared my uh, trailer off because I need to take my tiller up to the repair shop so you can see what I've done here. I wanted something that was not going to just be temporary in order to contain Tanko up here and also work on my beds and start creating my shade garden up in there where all the, I'm going to move all my own elephant ears. Like, see how sad they are when they, the ones that are in the ground here? But I dug them up and I'll walk back here and I'll show you. I 
I'm clearing this area out. Uh, that one my sister gave me. And let me see. This one my sister gave me. But these, this one here, is was a little puny thing like the one out there I just showed you. Um, yeah, so you can see. Anyway, that's the shade garden that's going to be up in here. I'm, gonna, I'm in the process of clearing all this out of here so that I can trim back um, some overhanging limbs that have got down too low. And hopefully these have rooted. I threw that board on top of those so I'll be able to plant some around different places on the property. I'm thinking about a hedge on the other side over there where that crappy wooden fence is of my neighbors. Well, what else do I want to show you? I emptied a bunch of these. Just got to clean them up. We use them. I put some things in the ground and hit my roselle that I grew in these this year. This is my third year growing roselle. And the ones I had in the big garden uh, last year was wonderful. If you look at that video, I'll try to remember to put it in the description, a link to it. Um, you can see they're budding up. So I will at least get some. I've still got roselle from last year, though, <laughs> in the freezer. Well, I've tried to move everything. I haven't attempted to move this yet. Let me show you the other one now. They're actually getting the tomatoes on them. These are those spoon tomatoes, I think they're called. Look how little. <laughs> I just did it more for fun than anything. Huh? They went all summer. You can see I put some of the horse manure in there with some mulch. Um, I moved. This is one that I had dug up from out front. It's looking better already. But I'm going to plant them well up under in here. I said I hadn't moved this yet because. There's a big wasp nest up in there I've been trying to get rid of. I even used some Dawn detergent. Um, but I don't know exactly where the nest is, so I probably didn't get it right. I just, I don't want I didn't want to kill them, but I keep trying to make a move by whacking it with a broom and stuff and they fly out of there. I just figured I'd knock the nest loose one of these times. I guess I'm just going to have to shove it over on the ground and break that pot. I've been needing to um, divide those up. They're way overcrowded in that pot. It's been in there so many years. I really like the way I did this. I don't know if that sweet potato will make it or not. I, I was just going to let it grow and flower on the vine, not really try to do it for the sweet potatoes. It just had volunteered, and so <laughs> I thought I'd go ahead and let it put it in the ground. It might pet back up. That's spaghetti squash. Yeah, I think being, I've got it set up like this. That's another roselle. <laughs> I took it out of its pot. The others I left in it, in the pot. But they see that way I got him contained in here now. And I can take down the fence on the other side and move my gate. And I'm just using this like a gate. Just unhook it, you know, right here, and move it over to drive in and out. Um, eventually, I want to, you know, have a little shed for my tractor out back. And then I, I'll turn this into a trellis for climbing, 
plants. Maybe my roses. Or no telling what, but I got two more cattle panels. I'm not sure if you can tell. Looking at them like that. Been moving a lot of that mulch from up front out to here, putting it on top of the horse manure. And but I got lots of plans. I just thought I'd just show you a little bit. Got my horse ready, shut of the big garden and from out back it wasn't doing very good, so doing much better up here in those. And this is bitter, bitter leaf. That one too. And then I'll show you over there in a minute. Walk over here. This is my bay leaf. I think I need to divide that up too. Yeah, I just hook that like that so it won't blow open when I'm not wanting it to. <laughs> Got all my little trees I can plant now. This still kind of warm down here in Florida. This is the sweet bitter leaf. I started from seed. I'll put more information on this bitter leaf um, if you've never heard of it down in uh, the description. Okay y'all, well that um, is where those red flowers, they're the hurricane lily I think that's what the nickname of them is. I'm not sure if that's what's coming up there or not. I've been pulling the weeds out of that. That's my wisteria. I'm going to try two of those branches. I want to try to uh, do an air layer and get them off there and just have one main branch on that. I was trying to give it a tree form. That's why I kept cutting it back and wouldn't let it attach to anything. I think it looks cute. <laughs> That's an old wood fence, I mean gate, from down at my other place that I brought up here. I had a lot of um, posts and chicken wire rolled up down there, but it was too heavy for me to get. And I just ended up leaving it. I sure wish I'd had it. <laughs> yeah, these are doing pretty good. I've been watering them now. So close to the highway right here. And I have moved a lot of that much. Still got a lot to move. I'm gonna go in, boo boo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Happy Halloween, y'all. Have a good, safe, fun. I gotta get back to work. Let the boy in.